It is now time to talk about Low Tax, who is fucking dead. In case you do not know, Richard Low Tax Kayanka, founder of Something Awful, is dead at 45, reports Vice News. Uh, we also reported it. It came from a video I'm not going to play. It's an old uh, Something Awful guy. He's astoundingly Jewish looking, which is why it's not surprising at all when his he, he tries to tell a story to make Low Tax seem like uh, a humble, nice, g relatable guy. And you know what? Fuck it. I'll just play the story. Hold up. I, I really love this story from this guy. It's but she was an infant at the, t at the time. And we were coming back from a Royals game, probably. We we're in the parking lot searching for uh, the car. And his daughter goes, oh, daddy, you know, I need to pee or whatever. And Riches tries to get her into a porta potty. She didn't want to do it. And then, of course, not surprisingly, while riding on Rich's arms, I, I mean, his, not his arms, his shoulders. How could I confuse the body parts? I'm in mourning. So anyways, while she was, you know, riding on Rich's shoulders, an accident. And it went all over the place and, you know, just liquid dripping off his shirt but and you know his daughter was like oh you know i'm sorry i didn't mean to and and rich didn't even yelp with disgust as i surely would he didn't make her feel bad he didn't get mad he just said that's all right and you know It's just like, don't worry about it. Cleaned her up, put her in the car, and, and took her home like any good dad would. Grief manifests in strange. I don't know. I, always, I, I notice a trend now where Jewish people really like pee-pee-poo-poo, -poo, and they bring it up. And it's like, that's his, that's his eulogy. That's his breaking the news to people that low tax is dead. What does he go for? Ah, very relatable pee-pee-poo-poo -poo story. <laughs> like, do you have something else? Don't you have something else where they were like, where something cute happened and, and there's no pee pee poo poo involved? Why, why does it gotta be pee pee poo poo involved, my dude? Why has it gotta be like this? Like, I'm sure shit happens when you're a parent, but that's not the story you tell. When they die, you, you tell a nicer story that doesn't have any piss or shit in it. It's just my, I don't know, maybe I'm the weirdo on that one. Yeah, Rich had uh, two kids. Uh, Lady Ambien is one, and I've had I've actually talked to Lady Ambien uh, a while back. Uh, just just to kind of lay this out, I I knew Lotex very briefly. He was a user on the forum for a couple like a week. Because what happened is, I'll, I'll lay this out before I go into uh, the story of, of his death. I guess what happened is is that. There's a guy called Schmorky. I did a stream on Schmorky. Go watch it if you're interested. He is a pedophile diaper fur, but nobody knew that. Before he was a pedophile diaper fur, he was someone who drew art. And a lot, a lot, a lot of really, really old, really famous memes came out of Schmorky drawings, such as... Such as... Oh, this is awful quality. How is Babby formed? How girl get pregnant? They need to do way in stain mother. Who kill the out babbies? Because these babby cat fricks back? You get it. That's that's smirky. There's a lot of them. There's also Flip Top Box, which I'm really a fan of. I think this was animated by Smirky too. If you remember these things, Schmorky made them. Schmorky was an animator for Something Awful, and it came out years and years after Something Awful was relevant that Schmorky was a pee-pee-poo-poo -poo diaper fetishist uh, pedophile who tried to... Uh, I think he groomed. It's been a while since he did that stream, but I think he was grooming someone. Uh, and he got canceled, and Something Awful was up in arms. Problem is, for a while... Schmorky had been transitioning to a non-binary and they had a really, really, oh God, this is going to turn into like a, a miniature Schmorky stream. I have to play it. I have to play an audio for you guys. Before we do that, let me just explain. He was transitioning to a gender bob. He had this awful falsetto going on 
And when he was outed, Lotax didn't know what to do, and but he was outed through the Kiwi Farms, I'm pretty sure. So Lotax joined to talk about, um, to talk about what had happened. And there were some things that happened on the forum. In particular, he realized that the forum was being very funny about it and something awful was not. Something awful was tied up in gender issues and people were saying, just because Smarky's a pee-pee poo-poo fetishist, child predator, doesn't mean you should dead name them, guys. Come on, let's be progress. Let's not be uh, heteronormative, tra tra cis, cis transphobic, guys. And Lotex is like, wait, this is actually really gay. This is really gay. And he, tr he for a brief moment, for a very brief moment, he wanted to to change something awful. He like fired mods. Uh, I talked to him and La Lady Ambien and like Google Hangouts and stuff. And I was trying to say like, okay, well, here's what you would do. And in fact, I would, I pitched to him that I would help upgrade his fucking site from whatever nightmare it's running on to uh, Zinforo, which is what they wanted to transition to. And I would do it for like 20,000. Like, I think they got offered 20,000. So I pitched like 15,000 or something. It's like, I'm sure I could have done it. Uh, and he turned me down because the people uh, who were on something awful at the time did not like him and or did not like us rather sorry I'm still trying to find something and they, they said no you can't be associated with the Kiwi farms in any way and they threw a fit so he just gave up he he literally crashed into slumber he took a bunch of his uh anti-pain pills and crashed on the, the the bed and lady ambien was super frustrated but she said that's just what what he does he avoids all his fucking problems and and that's about that and he can't be he can't be compelled to do anything if i cannot find this call i'm gonna be super super fucking pissed Okay, I need so I need I need your guys' help. Uh, I'm I'm looking at the the internet famous chat on the forum. If you can find the Mandy Schmorky call, please God get that and send it to me because I I need to play this for people who are uninitiated. But I'll continue with low text for right now. So that that was my interaction with him, and I always found it very sad. I really wanted to help him. I had some ideas of how he could make something awful fun again. I wanted I really needed money at the time, so I was kind of pissed. That he uh, that he re refused my offer, and his wife was very distraught. And they soon divorced. Actually, there was a domestic violence incident that she alleged, and it resulted in a custody battle, which ultimately uh, lasted as long as the rest of his life did. He he died the day of the announcement of of how that how that case was going to end. Some civilian sent it to me. Okay. Okay, this is it. Oh, base. Thank you. The squeaky, the squeaky voice is Smorky. The non-squeaky, psychotic voice is his girlfriend, who is like a schizophrenic, who currently waves between. I want to say she wavers between like Scientology and Judaism, and is just a crazy, crazy lady. Please don't touch me again, please. I won't. I'll never touch you again, okay? I'll never touch you again. I'll just do what you want. What do you want me to do? I'll do whatever you want. What do you want from me? Stop screaming and pretending. I'm not pretending! I'm... <laughs> what do you want from me? What? What do you want from me? I just want you to tell me what you want from me. What do you want from me? What do you me? want from me? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No. You're the one that's doing this right I now. I just want you to just tell me if you love me or not, or if you're in on this or not. In on what? Tell me. What they're doing to me. Tell me what I have to say. My parents. Yes? Are you controlling me for them? No. Well, 
I, there's nothing I can do anyway, so it doesn't matter. So even if you were, you won anyway. Even if you're not, you win, okay? Doesn't matter because there's nothing I can do about any of these people. Okay? That's why I said I wasn't gonna do anything. That's why I said I was gonna go to the cops. I, I just said they won. I told them that they won. Okay? I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight back. I can't fight back. Okay? If, if Hitler himself came here, he wouldn't be able to save me, all right? Nothing. Jim Howe, they're unbeatable. They're unstoppable. There is no answer. There is no answer to the Jewish question because they always win. They always win in their mind, and I'm theirs. And there's nothing I can do about it ever. Nothing anyone can. Not Roger Waters. God himself can't stop these people. They won. They always win. And I'm not gonna fight anymore either. Because they won. They always do. There's no point in ever fighting anything. Because you can never win. So I'm not gonna so i'll pause it there if you want the full thing you have to go to uh watch the, the smorky stream it's one of my favorites i i really really was invested because i didn't know anything about something awful i didn't know anything about something awful and i i, I this all came at me and i was learning a lot and there was all these people from something awful joining the forum at the time to talk about it low tax was on the forum to talk about it someone i knew of but i never knew anything about and i was it was just I, I really I really had hope for this guy. I really thought like this would be it. He would update his site. I would help him. I would tell him this is what you should do for moderation. And he would take the reins and be like, yeah, actually, I do run this fucking place. This is my site. I'm not going to take a back seat to my site um, and let these freaks ruin it for me. I'm not going to sit here and pop pills and drink wine and beat my wife while these lunatics that you just heard run my site for me. Why would I do that? And that's why, you know, I, I personally have resolved. If, the, if I ever lost interest in the site, I would just pass it on. I would, I would host the full archive of everything on it. I would purge all the user information and stuff. And I would just, I would just give it out as like a torrent and be like, make your own shit, have fun with it. Do something, let's do something crazy. I want to hear about you doing something that you got arrested for after hosting the site for a couple of years. Uh, I want to, I want some crazy shit to come out of this. I would never, never, ever in a million years resign myself to sitting there and letting other people do things for me, which is why I end up pissing off, pissing off a lot of people who have different ideas of how things should be ran. But I realize that I'm not always completely fair, but I try my best and I try to keep things fun because I assume it's, if it's fun for me, it's fun for a lot of other people too. Right. Anyways, point is that was that was that was his last chance, really, at at fixing his himself. If if this guy who he had known for years, if this guy who he had let meet his children was was now this freak, and he wasn't even allowed to like process this on his own site after it came out because people were so wrapped up in pronouns. If that if that wouldn't be a motivation enough to to fix things, nothing ever would be, and that was true. Nothing ever was. After that, his life just got worse. He tried. Uh, he he immediately reconciled with his mods. He gave in to their demands. He promoted everyone who he uh, had de had demodded by himself. He put he reinstated them. He took the back seat again. And he literally lost his his wife and kid over this. And then, the the next year, I want to say, it's it's hard to say. I want to say it's the next year. He he meets this. Actually, no, this is. This is twenty seventeen or twenty sixteen. Even this is a long time ago. I'm actually shocked. Anyways. At some point after after Lady Ambien, he hooks up with Logan Day. And I want to say this is either 2020 or 2019. And Logan is quintessential BPD LA trash. Just, and I spoke to her, so I, I really shouldn't be too mean. Um, 
<laughs> she was nice to me, but whatever. She is. She's BPD. She admits it. She falls back on mental illness a lot as a crutch, uh, and I was I was not very amused by this when, during our conversation. And in low tax, I, I don't know if he was just rebounding or what the fuck he was trying to do, but after he got hooked up with this chick and he tried to make her like a, an executive producer of something awful or whatever the fuck, he just completely lost it. And then she predictably ruined him by saying that he was like an abusive pill popping psychopath that would beat the fuck out of her and shit. And, and he just he just lost it. He lost everything immediately because he made a, a series of bad decisions that were always the ones that would uh, re require the least effort. And I'm pretty sure the farms will be overran by troons. They've tried, my friend. I don't know why people think this. I don't know why people think there are so many trannies on the site. Trust me, there's not. There's not none on the the admins the mo moderation side that I know of either. It's it's like a poll meme that people keep thinking is true because they don't use the site. Uh, but meets this woman, loses the site, ends up selling it, and then in the process between selling something awful and his case ending, he literally squanders every penny of it. He squanders all of the money that he made selling something awful. He, I think he does like mobile gacha games. He does pills. He does. Um, he he eats out like gourmet takeout food all the time. These the meme was gold belly pies that are like fifty dollar pies or some shit. He just he literally squanders it. And then after and my, I've been subscribed to this by the way. I was on the Missouri court subscription list so that anytime anything happened with his case docket, uh, I would I would get a notice for it. And I, I did. I got an email from from Missouri saying that the case had gone to trial and it was settled. And I'm thinking like, okay, so I guess this is it. I guess it's over. And then the same day he's dead because apparently what the judge had found is that he had intentionally squandered what money he had. And they were going to force him to give up his his savings to to her to pay for child support, and he would owe child support for the remainder of the child's uh, childhood, uh, and he would owe attorney's fees. It would be thousand. It, it, he would lose everything. He'd be back at square one at at like however old he is, forty something, with and he and he just couldn't handle it. And I think he had been planning to die for a while because he mentioned it. He mentioned it in a couple places, and he even said so in Discord, like uh, goodbye everybody. And then he shot himself, and that's and his ex-wife uh, explains it as such. She says, "Child support sucks pretty hard." I'm pretty sure he cheated on her with that Logan chick. By the way, it's I don't know. D don't stick your dick in, in crazy. Don't cheat on women. Don't become a libertarian and have half Asian kids. Like, don't do these things. It's very simple, I think, to avoid these kinds of problems. But she says. I've been sitting for hours debating whether or not to disclose this, and I feel like it's something I need to do to get off my chest. Frankly, I'm tired of being quiet. I mostly had to stay quiet for years uh, about things happening behind the scenes. I've, had, I've held things inside so long and so hard, my chest physically hurt the same way it is now. I have not, I've considered not sharing this out of respect for Rich's parents and sister, but after thinking on the incredibly vitriolic wall of text Rich's mother sent me this morning, saying many things uh, upon many things that his blood is on my hands. I need to share it to regain some sense of control over what's taken place in the past 24 hours. So even I feel this message is very diplomatic and it's very crafted to make people like her and feel bad for her. Like this is SJW talk like this whole, I need to regain some sense of control over what's happened. Like, I don't know, your ex shot himself. <laughs> What's there to get, take control of besides the narrative, my friend? Yesterday, I received a divorce ruling that would help me and my daughter stay in our home in Canada and allow me to provide a good life for her, as well as pay back numerous debts that had been accrued during the past two years when I received $350 a month in child support. In the divorce ruling, the judge found that Rich had willfully spent down the marital fund, confirmed his treatment of me was domestic violence, and put together a plan to pay for my attorney fees. He would still retain custody settled on previously in mediation. He was due to get our daughter for Christmas. An hour later, I was contacted by my attorney who informed me that Rich had shot himself early in the morning. So there it is. His other ex and I got to tell our children that their father died 
without saying goodbye to them or that he loved them or to my knowledge left a note for them to made it this far thank you for giving me space to, to let this go so i no longer have to hold on to it it's not canadian courts it was america i just said missouri bro it's the missouri courts it was handled by missouri she just happens to be canadian i think she's trying to she's trying she's forced to move back because she doesn't have a reason to stay in the u.s anymore she literally f like fled to like a domestic violence shelter and everything it's a crazy story my money is, it's not just his money. His money was gone. His youth was gone. And his, his health was gone. He, he was a very, very serious opioid addict. And uh, I think he was one of those people who had taken painkillers so much that any level of discomfort was agonizing to him. He just couldn't stand to be in pain at all. It was just like... It was just like agonizing just to exist because he's so used to being numbed out that he couldn't take it anymore. Like just being alive every day was a chore for him. So he killed himself. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, the only thing worth mentioning is I don't know what his life insurance policy is. If you're gonna like, if you're in a two-year divorce settlement, I guess you should buy your insurance policy in advance. Because if you don't know this, there is a suicide clause in life insurance. Almost, every, I think every life insurance pays out for suicide, but there is usually a clause in it for suicide um, expiry. Like you have to wait three years before you can kill yourself to get your insurance policy. So if he didn't even like leave his daughter anything or his kids rather, uh, that's a really dick move. Yeah, just learned to code. <laughs> it is his his issue is that he was spoiled sour by his mother, because mommy always took care of everything for him. No matter what his problem was, mommy would be there to take care of it. And he never learned how to deal with anything. And I think that's why he was domestically violent as well. He doesn't know he doesn't know how to solve problems. He he runs away from his issues. So when like his issue is like a hysterical woman chasing him around the house as he tries to like pill himself out out into oblivion, and he doesn't want to confront any issues. It's like how do you make the noise stop when you're just like retarded and you don't have any problem solving skills and you don't want to do anything? And you just <laughs> flail at it, I guess. You punch it, make it shut up. I, he he had a real lack of problem solving skills, and he and he uh, his pill addiction certainly didn't help. So. That's the gist of why he killed himself. What's interesting now is how people are going to spin it after the fact. Uh, this article by Matthew Galt, who I think I've spoken to before because he seems to know who I am, says Richard Lotax Kayanka, this is for Vice Motherboard. Richard, founder of Something Awful, is dead at 45. He's older than I thought. Uh, creator of Error Defining Something Awful forums died by suicide. I hate that. He killed himself. Just tell him he did it. Tell him he killed himself. On November 9th, motherboard confirmed with Lee's Summit, Missouri Police Department. When see see how easy that is? He died by suicide on November 9th, and motherboard was able to confirm it with Lee's Summit, Missouri Police Department. Wow, isn't that really isn't that simple? It's really crazy when people are actually dead that you can just call up a police department and be like, "Hey, Moshi Moshi, are they dead?" And they're like, "Yes, señor." Or what do they call people? In, in Japan. What's the what's the word for like man? It's like senora or something. There's a sin sin word. Whatever. Anyways, they say yes. And then you can write it in your fucking article. San? Senpai? <laughs> uh so long time something awful admin Fragmaster posts on the site for the first time in years to tell the community that its founder Richard Lotex was dead. Senpai. <laughs> um uh, blah blah blah. There is a uh, goes over all the things I explained, and they they talk about how how much something awful influenced society or internet culture at least. And I even like this part. Where does it say that? Uh, he changed this a little bit, I think. Uh, but many lives were also warped and destroyed. One of the most popular forum threads on the site was Grover House, the story about a sprawling and bizarre home construction project. Goons were so hungry for more information about the strange house they doxed, spelled incorrectly, the owner and harassed him and his family for the lulls. 
The targeted harassment campaigns of Kiwi Farms and 4chan were born and perfected on something awful before moving off the site. The Internet's general interest in seeking justice via public shaming was fostered there, he says. And before this was changed a little bit, I sent a message to this guy. And I said, uh, number one, sir, uh, you are spelling the Internet wrong. The Internet is a proper noun. It is not a lowercase i. And then I said, number two, uh, the, there is no relation. He said that Kiwi Farms came from something awful, which is just not true. Uh, like I, I didn't know what something awful was until I was like in my late teens, early twenties. I didn't start hosting the Kiwi Farms until I was nineteen, and I didn't come from someone who was a goon. The only kind of direct comparison between something awful, and this is true, something awful in the Kiwi Farms is that, uh, as many of you may know, I posted as a teenager between the ages of like thirteen and eighteen on a forum called Blockland Forums. And the owner of Blockland Forum was a goon. Bad Spot, who I na whose name I, at this point I'm pretty sure is like a play on words of low tax. It's like the same kind of convention. It's Bad Spot. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bad Spot made Blockland as a project to show to goons. And then when he launched it, he uh, the goons didn't come over. And he instead got, like, children interested in, like, a, a brick-building game that was modifiable. And so where I learned to script and do programming and stuff was making much of this game. But Bad Spot really fucking hated all the kids who played his game. He wished they were super cool goons from something awful, like Eve Online had, and, but, or uh, Space Station. But instead it was just kids like me. And he really hated all of us. And you could tell that he really hated his audience. And that's why Blockland, even though it predates Roblox and Minecraft, it never beat them because those games were made for kids. And when they took off, the uh, people who made the games continued to improve them for kids as opposed to Bad Spot, who just moped that, that he didn't have a super cool goon audience that were, that were uh, fans of his game. So uh, as far as inspiration for Kiwi Farms coming from something awful, that's the only link, is that the Kiwi Farms is kind of like Blockland Forum and that there's drama. Uh, so. Oh, his reply to this, by the way, he said, actually, according to the AP style guide, it is lowercase i internet. The AP style book, we will lowercase internet effective June 1st, 2016, when the 2016 style book launches. So AP style tip, internet. And there it is. The AP style guide says that it's a lowercase i. And I'll tell you right there, this is the second, this, this shit, this AP style book should be burned. It should be burned. This is bullshit. And if you're going to say I'm felt it, actually, these are the same people who say that black should be proper case. Uh, and white should not be. So these people, these scum of the fucking earth, have an agenda, and they are they are trying to make uh, black big, white small, and and the internet even smaller. That's what you have to take away from here. Fuck the AP style book. That's all I gotta say. All my homies hate the AP style book. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.